I think what I find most interesting on this is just the fact that this is a personal altercation between two guys that um, nobody who's watching this will ever meet. And it has nothing to do with politics, but people, man, they find ways to, uh, they find ways to project or uh, pose some sort of somehow read politics into the cracks of, uh, of, of what's going on here in a bizarre way that I think, you know, I mean, look, I, I also think there's a, um, you know, I, I also think there's a discussion to be had about the fact that there's a way to be, as Andy would put it, uh, team will without being a crazy person. But there's a lot of crazy person takes about how actually, you know, uh, this this joke was violence. And, you know, and, and we could have a whole discussion about why say that speech could be violence is dangerously insane. But um, Again, what I find interesting, what I find kind of emblematic of the moment and maybe some of what's broken about American society and our particular, you know, uh, high tech, late capitalist hellscape is the fact that this personal altercation between two billionaires who you don't know has become something that people find ways to sort of pseudo politicize in all these ways. So let's 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 get some of the. Uh, Let's give it some of the bad takes. <laughs> okay, one Sarah Spector says, if only Will Smith got as upset when white men take away his right to vote. That is a take. All right. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many angles about that take that are confusing, right? Like, <laughs> I get what she's saying, like, essentializing. She's essentializing Will Smith to his race, right? Because I don't think, like, he's literally one of the richest, <laughs> most, you know, successful Hollywood actresses had his right to vote taken away on top of the offensiveness of like the weird, like I'm going to bring his race into it to dunk on him. Like just very, very strange. Uh, she was thinking about a lot of stuff. And then that, <laughs> I think that's kind of the theme that I'm seeing from a lot of these. Yeah, and, and it's also like, okay, when you talk about these laws to make it harder to vote, um, it's, you know, like what is true is that the intention is that it's going to lower Democratic turnout because sure. the theory is that, um, you know, which is correct, right? You know, lower income people who uh, have, have less time or, you know, more likely to maybe not have driver's licenses, for example, you know, however many hoops you can jump through, you know, that the, um, they'll, uh, you know, like the more hoops you jump through, the more you're going to get people just going opportunity cost. Never mind, I'm not going to bother, right? All that's totally true. Um, and it's also totally true, of course, that due to America's apartheid history, you know, uh, that uh, black people are more likely than white people, you know, to be at the bottom, you know, disproportionately of the uh, of the economic ladder and this is not unrelated to voting patterns this is also not unrelated to the republicans intentions all 100 percent true but notice the first link in that chain is low income <laughs> will smith's right to vote is, is very 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 safe yeah. yeah i don't think he's been low income since you know the 80s <laughs> yeah no exactly all right, get, you know, stick it right in my veins. Let's get the next one. I, I, I'm going to defend this one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey D. Spencer says, what Will Smith did to Chris Rock is the same as what Putin did to Ukraine. All right, bold claim, bold claim. Let's see where it goes. But, he, but he's laying out his premises very, very well. All right. Sure, All sure, right. sure. So we're starting with the conclusion. <laughs> Uh, then we're going to get to premises. So we're going to provocative conclusion. Let's see what he's got. Uh, just the same. Putin felt threatened and disturbed. Will felt threatened and disturbed. We all love violence. Let's admit it. War, this is my favorite part, is the same as hidden. It's hidden cities. I bet Putin loved it. I feel why Will did it. Uh, 
so I was saying I was playing a game with a friend of like, what's the craziest take that you'll kind of like, you kind of dig, like kind of like a Marianne Williamson type take, you know, where like, <laughs> you're like, you know, that's not exactly right. But spiritually, I feel what I feel what he's going for. It's like kind of poetic about toxic masculinity and like maybe hitting a city really is like hitting a person on a on a poetic level. Uh, it's, it's, it's incredibly insane, but I'm kind of I don't know. I kind of agree, but I'm curious what people's takes are. I see we have <laughs> that is genius and this is the, the dumbest shit and I, both are true all right it's, it's a bit like you know when the, those uh, riots happen and a building gets burnt down it's just like when you you know uh burn down a person I don't know yeah. it's poetic. has anybody been lit on fire recently that I can you know, analogize I mean okay <laughs> I, I do also want to point out that you know again I, I don't. I don't record. You know. I, I think that. Uh, I think anybody who has a take on the thing itself uh, beyond a uh, bad moment, but you can understand how he got there, is probably thinking about this too much. But, um, I mean, I watched that video several times, like everybody else in the world. Um, it wasn't even like. You know, it wasn't even closed fist. I mean, that that, that seems pretty different than uh, the dropping cluster bombs on, like, okay. a, uh, on a city in Ukraine to me. You know, like uh, like being slapped is, uh, you know, I mean, traditionally, for example, you know, when you're challenging someone to a duel, right, you know, you do that by slapping them. Um, you know, I like there's a, the actual duel would be a much bigger deal than the slap and possibly, you know, dropping a cluster bomb on somebody's apartment complex would be, an even bigger deal than dueling them. I don't know. That's just yeah. Funny. I mean, you're yeah. You you're, you're probably right. Um, I mean, I guess I wish maybe that uh, Vladimir Putin had an avenue for uh, like male bravado, right? He could have just slapped <laughs> someone, slapped Zelensky, and then walked back, and that would have been it. You know, yeah. Sat, walked back, sat down in his seat. You know, like yelled a couple times. You know, <laughs> it's like. You keep your military alliance. Ben, <laughs> well, well, you know what? Someone else has a similar backyard. What's someone up? has a similar take, Ben. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Michael Tracy, great minds think alike. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah. go. <laughs> uh, you know, if uh, you know uh, Zelensky didn't want to get bombed, he shouldn't have said that thing about uh, what he did about um, Steven Seagal's hair. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, that's a lot of people who've gone through whatever's wrong with Steven Seagal, you know, very sensitive about their hair. So there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Michael Tracy having that is is not um, is not surprising to me. I, I have. So I did something that was kind of billed as a debate with Michael Tracy once, and it was a very strange experience because. Um, I, I guess the way I would put it is that it seems he seems like somebody who has more ha, who has takes more than he has positions. Mm. So I, I, let's let's just leave it at that. But I, <laughs> I, I think that the uh, uh, but but the 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 Putin the Putin is Will Smith uh, is Will Smith take is you know very on point for that. All right, let's do it. I think we've got at least one more things. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is an article uh, that that Andy alerted us to. Um, the the will the Will Smith doctrine has no place in Ukraine by Matthew <laughs> DeAncona, uh, and this is by it's he writes for the Tortoise, which uh, the punchline to this is their tagline is slow news without the noise. Uh, slow uh, news in other words getting out an yeah. article <laughs> first thing this morning first thing i saw whenever i got up i like turned on twitter this was the article i saw <laughs> this, this guy was up till like two in the morning doing his slow news analogy <laughs> with, <laughs> with like that meme with like the uh the woman like looking at math equations like how do i put this together you know which is which is hilarious because we, we don't have this one but the uh but last night, uh, our good friend David Griscom uh, tweeted, uh, this is from memory, but I think this is it word for word. I can't wait for, uh, for all of the Will Smith, Chris Rock takes. <laughs> is 
Will Smith going to be Zelensky or is Chris Rock going to be Zelensky? <laughs> there you go. He perfectly anticipated these people. <laughs> Uh, so, so I think there's an actual explanation of uh, that I saw of the, uh, the, of the Will Smith doctrine, which is uh, that they uh, that he said uh, I, I didn't read the article and I'm not going to, but um, but I you know I saw him tweet about it and he said that uh, it was something about how if Putin is rewarded with like diplomatic concessions. Like Ukrainian mm. neutrality for invading Ukraine, that'll be like Will Smith being. I mean, I guess because he got the Academy Award after. I, I, I mean, I, again, I'm not going to read this article, but as as far as I can piece together what the thought might be, that would be it, or just that. Yeah, like, that that's the subheading in that and that graphic. If you pull that back up, okay, all right, let's. You, let's you can actually, it. you know, it's actually paraphrased, which is why I didn't pull the uh, the tweet. I can't quite acts, that. acts of aggression should not be rewarded. And President Biden was only speaking the unpalatable truth when he said that Putin has to go. Um, you know, commonly known as the Will Smith Doctrine, whatever. <laughs> the, uh, the new uh, foreign policy establishment's term for... Uh, I, ben, we don't have it, but you, you retweeted something that... Uh, uh, I think it was a philosopher said that, like, from the utilitarian perspective, yes, the slap hurts, but... It's very funny for millions, if not billions of people. So it created net good in the world. And I think that <laughs> anything beyond that, I like that you feel really passionately about probably says more about you and your own biases and your own neuroses than, you know, anything actual, uh, any referent in the world. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's yeah, my yeah. definitive take on it, I would say. No, I mean, I, I certainly concur with your take, but I'm also trying. I'm also still trying to piece together the Will Smith analogy to regime, <laughs> regime change in Russia. So, like, is the idea that just like Putin has to go, which, by the way, like there is a reason that the Biden people walked that back as soon as Grandpa said that, right? That that is a that is a second time I used the phrase tonight, but it, it fits, right? I mean, that is the a dangerously insane thing to say and that was off script that he that he said that i think yeah. uh yeah yeah i believe i mean at least i watched uh you know part of breaking points this morning they mm -hmm. they, they said that 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 was off script um you can yeah. usually tell whenever he's off script because because he usually seems a little bit more um <laughs> yeah you get a little more of the dog face pony soldiers and uh, we're pursuing regime change uh, in our standoff with the world's uh, other major nuclear power. Uh, Corn Pop was a bad dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corn Pop, regime change in Russia, you know, stuff stuff like this. Uh, yeah, no, he, he really needs to read what it says in the teleprompter uh, right now, at least of all times. But also, um... Okay, so what's the equivalent to regime change in Russia? Are, are they going to like replace Will Smith with somebody else as Jada's husband, or what? What, what, what am I? <laughs> I? I'm not quite following this. There's got to there's got to be some. Tupac. There's got to be some analogy to the open relationship part of it with NATO back. And, mu and mutual aggression, right? Like maybe there's, uh, you know, like uh, Will and Jada are in NATO and together and. It's I'm just give me just give me 24 hours and <laughs> about ten dollars an hour and uh, financial instability and I'll I'll, I'll you know, you know, drink it out. Cobble, let's cobble something together. Yeah, uh, it reminds me of like my journalist friends, like their first job in the industry. You know, like right, <laughs> like you get to put some take together and uh, that, that's it. Yeah, awesome. All right. Um, well, I hope we can. You know, I hope this isn't just a day of this. I hope we can do like a month of uh, of Will Smith discourse. Uh, like, in fact, I hope that like if they finally cobble, like if you know the United States has finally agrees to take a more direct role in negotiations and uh, everything gets sorted out, and there's I don't know like some deal where you know the Russian claim on Crimea and you know Donbass is is uh, is ratified and you know Ukraine's can be neutral, but there's also like future security guarantees. I hope that none of us like 
even realize that it happened until three days later because we were all still talking about uh, Will Smith. Well, with the American, uh, you know, with like the media's, especially the the media's like bloodlust for war, right? Like basically asking, why didn't you do World War Three in the press conferences? Maybe it's fucking better for them to just pay attention to this <laughs> for two weeks. And then like, they'll be like, guys, it's over. I'm sorry, but we didn't do World War Three. And- right, then we could have a press conference where they all get outraged because they just realized that there was a peaceful settlement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What happened with that? Yeah. <laughs> You have been watching free public content from Give Them an Argument. To access every single episode of the show, the main show on uh, Monday nights, all of the streams, all of the uh, debate breakdowns, all of the patron exclusive post games on Monday nights, all of the patron exclusive bonus episodes every week, and much, much more, go to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. I cannot resist ending this with, don't be foolish. <laughs>